Judith Nicholson is a student-centered, uh, multicultural, wonderful school. <laughs> <laughs> What we do here is we want to make sure there's ownership here. We want the, the community involved. We've struggled and we've worked very hard to get our community, the West Side community involved, as well as other businesses involved in our, in our school and our kids. We bring in the parents to let them know that we are here to help them, not only just their children, we're here to help them as well because we have a lot of ESL uh, students. ESL is English as a second language and um, it's for students that are coming from other countries or have not been, uh, their English is not their first language. And um, at the beginning of the school year, the parents will fill out what language is spoken at home. And then from that point, if, it's, if there's another language spoken, then they will be um, tested for lost links. And then that in turn tells them the level of the teaching that we need to do. I couldn't. Uh, at this school, our ESL program, we have um, ESL teachers for each grade level, and we have bilingual assistants for each grade level, and we support the instruction. Uh, we have block reading programs where we pull and push in to support um, the lowest functioning ESL students and then monitor the higher functioning students as well. Because there's such, there's um, so much Spanish spoken, you you are um, kind of immersed within a different cultures, and um, you're always uh, making sure to have communicate where the children and the parents can understand best. So you're always trying to communicate in English and in Spanish. So since I don't speak Spanish. You're just more aware of that and you need help with the assistance and the kids' help. All of our um, documents um, are um, interpreted and um, we have bilingual assistants that sit with us through all of our conferences. For 85% population is ESL and so a lot of our parents uh, do not speak English and so even when it comes to their job applications and stuff, they, it, they don't know how to fill them out because they're in English. They, they know to come here and we will also help them. More louder they, than they the toads. More louder than the toads. Yeah, who's, who's the loudest? The, the toads. So Title I, yeah, we um, have, um, it's different fund of money and, and from it we get more staff in our building, including me. And uh, we work with children who um, struggle with reading or struggle with math. We use data um, testing the children. We use Dibbles for the younger kids and SRI, which is a reading um, testing the um, comprehension through Scholastic. We use that program for the upper children. And so we can see the kids who are below level and need a little more help. and. We will do interventions where we work in smaller groups and that's allotted within the classrooms where they allow time for us to do interventions with those children and they do some type of enrichment activity along that time. We do see a lot of growth with the kids with title. So our school school-wide title, meaning that I'm, I'm allowed to come in and work with anyone who's struggling. It's not just one child. So I may work I work with fourth grade a lot this year, for example, so I may be in fourth grade working with a specific group of kids on reading almost every day, but then also incorporate other children within that. Um, and with math, work with several kids, not just one kid. So we they do things such as um, reading scrimmages, which is an Indianapolis public school testing thing they do every two weeks where it tests the standards. Um, so we may focus on kids who don't do well on the scrimmage and then retest to make sure they go up. But I specifically look at Dibble scores and the SRI scores and see if the kids that we've been working with have been going up because all the kids should be going up but I would expect Tidal with the interventions them to be going up more because they're lower we want to push them even greater.
the, I think each and every one is, is different in their own right. We, we learn about every culture, but the beauty is here, we're all one big family, and we accept each other's differences and accept each other's culture, and so we learn from it because it's hands-on. So do we make it a big, huge issue? No. We just know, okay, Brenda's from here, and what did you do? How did you do that? Oh, that's cool. You know, we learn from each other, which is the best way to do it and the best way to do anything in life, I, I believe.